it's finally here. The update we've all been waiting for. The nightclubs are out. So, uh, I'm going to be buying one of the nightclubs and seeing if it's actually an investment worth buying into. Um, at the moment, I've only got 1.2 million, so I can only afford um, the lower end nightclubs because they do go up to 1.7 million uh, at this point in time. So, looking at what I found, the cheapest is um, 1.7 Nord eight million, and the top of the range is one point seven million. That's the West Vinewood nightclubs, but uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna get one of the lower end ones and just see what it's all about, really. So, just head over to Maze Bank foreclosures. Yeah, so we've got the. LSIA nightclub at 1.135 million. So, nightclub style. So, you've got the option for the light rig. Um, see how much this all comes to. Um, nightclub name. So far, it's an extra 88,000. Uh, you've got the storage, so you can have extra stores. So extra floors for extra storage for your facility. Um, dancers, hire two podium dancers for your dance floor. And dry ice as well. So that will be your smoke machine. So with the nightclub, which costs just over 1.1 million. The light rig, an extra 88,000. Nightclub name starts at 33,500. And you've got extra storage that's up to 1.7 million extra um, dancers uh, 213,000 and dry ice 345,000 so all in all you're looking to spend over three and a half million um, for the higher end nightclub but taking all that away I'll just stick to what I can afford yeah, even the light rigs you can upgrade, so it it can get quite pricey by the looks of it. Here we are. On first impression, it seems to be bigger than the the bunker. It seems more spacious, and you can still invest in more rooms, more levels as well. So access must be granted by Tony Prince. Please complete the nightclub setup. Set up staff, set up equipment. I think we'll set up equipment first. I'd say so. I'm just just under ten thousand dollars left. I've got nine thousand seven hundred and sixty nine dollars. Location is uh, seems to be the only factor on the cost at the moment, but because we're both buying two separate uh, facilities, uh, me and Corp. Um, we'll be able to distinguish whether goods and income varies and yeah, see if it's actually worth investing that little bit more just for the convenience of, of having it located a, a little little more conveniently. Avoid low bridges with this one as well because you'll lose all the speakers. It's going to be such a buzzkill, no pun intended, but... <laughs> Just a buzz. <laughs> that was an accidental pun. The uh, the one good thing about this for me is you're not against the clock, so there's no hurry to get it back. It's just that you get it back. We're in that sort of unique position as well, where we uh, we don't have anyone else in the server, so we've always got that advantage. Where we're not going to be pestered or um, attacked by anyone. This is a pretty cool bus, in all honesty. Got the skull at the top, the DJ decks. Whoa. <laughs> there is a route you can take <laughs> without destroying the bus. I knew I could do it. Yeah, okay, with the help of being pushed up the steps. So what we're going to be doing on this part is doing the staff setup. So 
what we're looking to achieve from this is to pick up a number of people and bring them back basically so um, we'll crack on with that again I'll cut out all the boring bits so um, the same as the equipment pickup you don't have to see all the boring routes I took just to be able to uh, keep the bus intact uh, just for your reference if any of you guys are looking to do this um, you don't actually get a bonus from having brought the bus back and it not being destroyed so I wouldn't waste your time uh, so enter the vehicle it looks and sounds like a Mercedes AMG <laughs> right. so I can see three locations for people to pick up the vehicle can only carry uh, three passengers by the looks of it so you can't carry your friends along in the same vehicle you have to pick everyone up in so this is more of a solo mission so we're just looking to test a theory at the moment that uh, your motorcycle crew or secure serve uh, crew can pick up the uh, the nightclub staff no nope. Uh, okay, no, so you can only pick them up in the vehicle provided within the actual mission. So, actual mission, so if you're thinking about picking them up in a Deluxo or DeLorean, um, it's not going to happen. If you're trying to cheat, then you're a bad person. I've just had to collect someone off the beach, and uh, they're having a bonfire on the beach in the middle of this rain. There's some questionable logic in this game, but that's just, I'm just not buying it. Oh no. Oh, I just rolled the car and bringing my new staff in on. That's a pretty straightforward um, setup. You just pick three people up and bring them back, but you can only bring them back in the uh, vehicle that it provides you with because there are a number of us in this crew uh, and there are a number of us with um, with nightclubs we can always do a follow up video if uh, anyone wants to know um, obviously with all the additional upgrades etc so so this plane it has the pilot take a funny turn so rather than landing at the airport you're supposed to go to, I think it's uh, Sandy Shores, isn't it? Cool. Sandy Shores, yes, Sandy Shores we end up going to. So all we have to do with this part of the setup is just pick up the DJ, just wait for the plane to crash, and then just drive straight back. You don't have anyone chase you. Or oh, any CPUs chase you. Um, again, depending on how quiet your server is, you might have someone chase you. But um, we're in a, an empty lobby at the moment, so we're actually quite lucky to do this setup. Any CPUs chase you. Um, again, depending on how quiet your server is, you might have someone chase you. But um, we're in uh, an empty lobby at the moment, so we're actually quite lucky to do this setup. No interruptions. I just think the pilot obviously stopped off at my facility first and he's obviously had a drink at my expense. Like the rest of you do. I've set you a, a pathway. There's a trail on that, Anna. Check it. He's over Legion Square. Easy does it. All right. Easy does it. Mellow vibes. Keep it proper. Mellow, mate. He did it. The miracle worker. Let's go pick him up. Get on it, mate. Can't just leave him there. Hey, Solomon. What's your moody? 
I'm now down to $169, so I need to start getting some money back from this quite quickly. It's like a real nightclub, you can't actually walk anywhere without someone pushing into you. So we've got the option on nightclub management to promote the club. Uh, it gives you the what look like what looks like it's going to be a chart with daily income, um, resident DJ. So that's Solomon, warehouse management. So cargo and shipment, supporting goods, South American import. So it, the list goes on. There's quite a lot. There's quite a lot going on with this business. Um, when it comes to selling goods, you've got cargo and shipment, sporting goods, uh, South American imports. Again, the list goes on with all of it. So the, the, there's there's quite a lot, quite a lot going on here. So it's it's one of those things where it's going to invest a bit of time to actually decide. So the West Vinewood Nightclub. Um, Looking at the internals, it's all pretty much the same, um, the same as the the low end nightclubs. So as of yet, we don't honestly know as to whether you just pay a little extra for the more convenient location, or if you do actually benefit from it as a business. Um, we're just trying the shots now. So going through the list, the Mugbeth's whiskey. So well, I think we're going to try that. That's three three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> so this one actually gets you drunk. Yeah, this gets you completely wasted, uh, and and it makes you pass out. Three hundred and fifty dollars makes you drunk and pass out. So it's just loading now. So we'll soon soon see where it puts me probably in the back of a hospital hospital in the back of an ambulance uh no so it's put me in the in the golf course yes so that concludes this video um all we've taken from this really is um that nightclubs are expensive um we'll, we'll we'll i think we'll come back to it progressively when we uh when we actually know the ins and outs of how the business runs and how how much attention you do need to give the business i mean at the moment with say my uh my bunker after 30 minutes of playing uh it will give me 136 thousand dollars payback with supplies so i'll see how this compares because it is actually more uh, a more expensive business and that's without having done any upgrades yet i've just got some of the base basic essentials so we'll see how it progresses and like i said if there are enough of you that want a want to want to follow up video and don't want to spend the money and would rather see um, myself and my crew spend the money so we waste the money if, if that's what it is or invest the money wisely so you can see the consequences of that regardless of whether they're the right things to do or not so like I said we'll, we'll follow up on it and, uh, and see where it takes us so uh, we'll, we'll conclude that one there so thank you very much for watching goodbye